And all this discussion about climate smart agriculture, regenerative agriculture, sustainable farming, you're obviously not discussing it, you're doing it. Can you just give us a, a quick synopsis of what does it really mean for you? Sure, Ben. Uh, you know, these days, especially this week, I'm not feeling as smart about climate as perhaps I did a few weeks ago. And that's because we have had such unusual swings in our weather this year. We went from a really beautiful spring that was very dry, but enabled us to get the crop in early and get some growth. And then we froze the crop, and now we're cooking the crop. It's in the 90 degree Fahrenheit area here in southern Wisconsin, which is the northern Corn Belt. A lot of the Corn Belt is starting to hurt because it's dry and hot. But what we try to do every year is what's agronomically right for the crop. And that has really helped us this year to conserve moisture. So uh, you may have seen in the video, I talked about how our farm motto is our soil, our strength. And we do everything we can to make sure we have good, strong soils that are nutri nutritionally right. We're learning that the soil is a living organism so we feed the nutrients with organic matter and cover crops and crop rotation. Um, but we also use that new technology that's available to us, mm -hmm. precision agriculture, so that we can do things precisely. And we can also, well, our newest mantra is to farm the best and leave the rest. So we do have areas of our farms that um, cannot support a crop and you don't mm -hmm. want waste of very expensive seed and fertilizer on those areas. So we leave them and because we are able to map them and identify them and then farm around them, we don't plant them, but we uh, have established native perennial plants. You saw the, the prairie strips. We mm -hmm. also have five different fields where we put uh, pollinator hats which mm -hmm. also improves the environment for birds and wildlife and certainly the important pollinators. Mm -hmm. So we really are using every tool at our uh, ready agronomically to make sure we have good, strong soil and then we have healthy crops. Could we uh, have from you an, an overview of just climate smart agriculture and what it means for you? Because I think the audience will be interested. We've heard Nancy's story and some of the things we're doing. Are those things relevant in another part of the world or completely different? Uh, well, uh, hello to everybody. Um, thank you for the invitation. And um, answering to your question, I was listening to Nancy and I was thinking she was talking about my uh, own farm uh, mm -hmm. because we have exactly the same problems and the farmers all uh, have all the same fears and uh, um, in Europe as they have in, uh, in the United States with very similar conditions. So uh, uh, smart um, climate smart agriculture makes a lot of sense uh, in our farm because we are in a region where we face very often and very frequently the droughts. The majority mm -hmm. of, the, of them are severe droughts. We have very hot summers, very low um, uh, air moisture, uh, and we need uh, to uh, irrigate the crops in order to produce uh, correctly. And we have to use water efficient, very efficiently, as it is a, a very scarce um, uh, resource. Since I was a child, I saw my, my father suffering uh, for the poor soils we have, due to an enormous erosion uh, we can have in the country. So this, the soil's fertility are very low. And um, I was used to see my father worried about the, uh, the rain, the known rain, the, the heat, uh, and the very low yields he could have on uh, his crops. Uh, so, and when I write here, I saw his, um, he was very worried of protecting soil and protecting uh, uh, water because uh, he um, had, and we have, very low fertility soils and uh, scarcity of water. So we have to be very uh, precise and we have to use 
uh, practices that protect the soil, enhance the uh, soil health, um, that um, need uh, more, less uh, water irrigation because we don't have that much water. So we uh, decided 20, year, 20 years ago to um, adopt conservation agriculture practices. Uh, then, um, because of the fact that we, uh, Portugal, uh, joined the European Union, we had uh, several uh, um, uh, requirements in order to reduce the application of agrochemicals. So we decided to use integrated production management practices, which is um, dealing um, more precisely with pest diseases and fertilizers, using in a rational way the fertilizers and a precise way the agrochemicals in order to not pollute the soil, the water and the air. And we have adopted tools and uh, practices in order to use efficiently uh, our water. So we are on the way to a more sustainable farming, I'm, I guess. What does this concept of climate smart, sustainable agriculture mean to you and your family? As everyone was talking, I think everyone, every farmer around the world has the same issues because here we also have problems with water and the soil. Mm -hmm. So at first, we, we started with, in, with our family in a production of uh, palm oil and a palm oil plantation. That was the idea. But as um, Gabriela said, we have very, very bad uh, soils. So we started the poultry um, business just to get, enhance the, um, the, the nutrients that the soil will have and the plantation will get better. But then we so that there were there another problem that was water. So we start to think, what can we do that reflects that all our effort is going to uh, stay and be part of the nature and reduce the carbon, our carbon footprint and all the water, water shape wasted that we have there. So we decided that we need to build a dam. And from that point, everything change. And we start, we understand that we need to acknowledge all the all the tech that we used to have in the past and bring it to the uh, to the future as for if I can say that. And we bring we fuse we fuse all the um, old techs with the new tech. And we establish a, a way to sustain all our uh, all our facilities. For example, um the water that we used to have there was close to none, but now with them and some bamboo leaves, that, uh, trees that we have there, we start to uh, keep more and more and more water. And we even bringing water to the system that wasn't even there. Because of that, also some animals that wasn't um, native to the area began to come back. That was native, uh, were native to the area. They start to come back. Um, the process was a, a continuous evolution of an integration of old tech, new tech, and all the, the ideas to save our world and how we manage our, our resources around the farms. 